Oh my god, this is so funny. Basically, there's this small YouTuber, I think his name's Call of Dusty, and people were spamming at him saying, sub to PewDiePie, right? And he fires back and he goes, why would I promote PewDiePie when I should be promoting myself because I'm a small channel and I deserve, he said deserve, more subscribers. And then he went on a little bit more rant with more tweets. I quoted one of those tweets and I said, listen, okay? If you're a small channel, it's because you're not as entertaining as the big ones. I mean, that's all the, it's supply and demand. People are gonna go to good content. Supply and demand, all right? If you're small and you're not succeeding, you're not as good as the other ones. I'm sorry, you're not. This dude responds to me and he goes, I'm a small YouTuber and it's really hard to grow. I believe that I'm really entertaining and my fans really love my stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay, let, let's, let, let, let's check out this channel. I click on his channel, the video that he uploaded today, the title was, this needs to stop, and it's a picture of some half-naked girl on Instagram or TikTok or something. I click on the video, and immediately, teenage boy, and he's like, Lena Lula is an Instagram TikTok personality, and she needs to stop. Now, I'm dying. I'm dying. This dude thinks he's entertaining. You're entertaining, really? You're making the same fucking content that 10,000 other people are making. There are so many of these small YouTubers that are like, I don't understand why I'm not growing. Well, maybe because every single one of your fucking ideas is a copy from a bigger YouTuber. Okay, an analogy for this, all right? Let's say that you want to go create your own soda company, right? And instead of making Canadian dry, you call it Canadian pie, but it's ginger ale, you put it out in the world, and then you're like, after a month, why do I not have as many sales as Canadian dry? I deserve as many sales because I got ginger ale too. You don't deserve to make it, you deserve to fail. Unoriginal. That concludes my review of the small YouTubers tonight. We might do this again in the future. If you want to see me review more small YouTubers in the future, let me know here on Twitter. But I've come to a profound understanding tonight of the small YouTuber, and that is this. Small YouTubers are small YouTubers because who the fuck would want to watch that shit? That was horrible! Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes of his channel and that's free to that kid who uh couldn't take my review of his channel and that's freaking out i just love at the end how he's like oh you just make videos about jake paul they all say the same thing the only reason why you're successful is because you make videos talking about other people da, 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 da. it's just recycled shit okay well first of all drumler is normally breaking these stories um so if there's a video on drumler it hasn't been done before by anyone now obviously sometimes people do beat us to the story and you know we're late to it or whatever but most of the time we're breaking the shit like it's the first time anyone's hearing about it and also i've been a youtuber for 10 years I didn't just do drama alert. I freaking had a gaming trolling thing that was freaking number one, the biggest there was. I started a whole goddamn genre uh, of trolling and gaming entertainment on YouTube. And uh, this whole wave of drama channels or drama commentary, I literally was the first, I'm sorry, but the first and still here and the best. 
And the idea that somehow I'm not entertaining uh, because I have to use other people to get views, um, I, just that doesn't make sense to me. I just reviewed you small, irrelevant people and everybody loved it on Twitter. So I don't need big name to get, I don't need big names to get views at all. I do vlogs on Twitter that people love just walking around my house. I could literally do anything I want in the form of entertainment and get views. I walked around in the woods singing that I found a dollar in the woods and got more fucking views than any video on Drum Alert. And my song ended up getting featured on Jimmy Fallon. That was nobody else's work. That wasn't Jake Paul. That was just me. I don't need to do Drum Alert to get views. I do Drum Alert because it's what I love. I do what I want to do. I could retire right now. I'm good. If I wanted to do vlogs, I'd do vlogs. If I wanted to do pranks, I'd do pranks. But I'd do drama alert because I want to do drama.